Great. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Hello. 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 That, that just happened. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this started here. Oh. <laughs> am, I, am I coming back? I, I can't tell. I can't I hear myself. Bring it back now. Can I can't. Check? I can't hear you. you no, know, you can't. It's probably for Should the best. Should I shout? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, everybody, welcome back to BlizzCon 2013. This is a exciting, exciting time here. Super exciting. We have exciting. the wonderful Jesse Cox still with us. Still Hi, guys. Hanging out. How's it going? Holding out with the champs. You guys know him. You guys love him. But also, we've got a special treat for you. We have, over on our, uh, our side table here, we have... Special treat. Michelle Morrow, <laughs> Marissa Ray, and Matt Mercer. <laughs> there was a little hesitation, like, uh... You got it done, yes, you got it done. Very Lots well fit. done. I'm clapping because he, he got I, right. I got those. I had the... I had, I, Congratulations. You know Memorization is key. <laughs> they yes, taught me that huge. in grade school. It's very important. Yeah, you did a good That's job. That's why you play the game Memory. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is why. One second. Your Jesse, feedback. what are you doing? It wasn't me. I'm doing it, it on purpose. It I know you're up to something. <laughs> You couldn't it's see it because I wasn't on this camera. It was Pat Crane. There you go. Uh, <laughs> this is super professional. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm really excited to see you in costume again, Jesse. I think you're right. Oh, don't, don't spoil it. There we go. I won't. Tomorrow. Only all of Twitter has seen it. <laughs> I really like That's your all. beard. Thank you. It's a very nice beard. So, so, so I think I realized... I didn't have I, a I, as, you, on? as per usual, I didn't, I didn't have my mic unmuted. So just real quick reintroductions <laughs> okay. for everyone on the stream. Um... <laughs> Michelle Morrow, Marissa Ray, Matt Mercer, joining us here at BlizzCon 2013. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to yeah. stop by. Yeah, it's our pleasure. We appreciate it. Um, let's just start this off because, Matt, you are synonymous with some names and some voice acting within, within the World of Warcraft universe. Yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've done work on the series quite a bit over the past few years. Old school, people who've been through the Lich King expansion have fought me as General Vizax in Old War, um, as well as Halley and the Twilight Destroyer in Ruby Sanctum. Big purple dragon. Big purple With huge feedback. Bag of dragon. You're, you're summoning it here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, more recently, uh, uh, Paragon Cries and Norushin in the Siege of Orgrimmar expansion, also the voice of Rexar, um, the Hunter in Hearthstone. And uh, hopefully, more, a bunch of stuff I can't talk about yet. But yeah. Um, oh, oh, we that actually, was that. If, the, if that was the ultimate hint right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that next expansion, Stop. how's that working out? <laughs> <laughs> Silently. <laughs> so I gotta ask, just real quick, while we have you here, I think yeah. that there's there's possibly people out there in the live stream that have always wanted to get into voice acting. I love anime, and I know a lot of friends who who want to get into voice acting for anime, mm -hmm. video games. You see a lot of people who work in that. Genre. How did you get started? How does one get started with voice acting? Uh, like any other form of performance, initially being an actor, you know, it's it's you can do a lot of funny voices, but you got to do the training. You got to actually do scene study and character study, and you really find yourself as a performer before you can push into voiceover. And then from there, it's hitting the pavement, doing workshops, you know, branding yourself, learning as much as you can about the industry, mic technique. Expanding and practicing with your voice. I mean, anytime I'm driving in the car anywhere, which in Los Angeles is a lot, uh, that's my <laughs> hours, practice. hours. Yeah, that's that's time. I'm, I'm the crazy guy on the freeway, just talking to himself, having conversations. You know, yeah, he actress. did that the entire ride down here. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's true. Uh, over the 405, just like I will destroy you. Yeah. No, I must protect her. And the guy in the car next. Hell is. You know. <laughs> no, yeah. it's LA. He was like, uh. Oh. Yeah, it is Los <laughs> Angeles. He's like, oh great. But yeah, so just it's it's practice. It's a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work, you know. That's very true. What about um, how do you how do you find your voice in 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 the um, in the voice acting industry? Every, everyone has a distinct voice. I think a lot of people know um, Steve Blum. Oh yeah. Um, gosh, I can't think of the name of who. And everybody out there is going to make fun of me. The voice of uh, Nathan Drake. I just can't remember. Oh, that's, that's, that's uh, Nolan North. Nolan North. Yeah. Everyone has their voice. How does one dis distinguish their own voice? Uh, I think it's less about distinguishing their own and more like how many times they get cast as a similar archetype. That yeah, I think that's a them. Steve thing. Like, he's always cast as that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, for you, for Matt, he's played several different kinds of characters, you know? Like, like uh, Rexar in Hearthstone is very different from, you know, Hallian. Or General Vsax. Yeah. 
And it's like, you know, other games I've worked on, the characters can range. Like, I voiced Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil 6 that recently came out. And that's more of a gruff, you know, low type voice. But I do a lot of, you know, Japanese RPGs. They're higher pitched heroic types, you know, like in Fire Emblem, Krom, and that's more like, more of a stoic 20 something year old. So it, it depends on what you do. Uh, however, when you get that breakout role like Nolan North did as Nathan Drake, uh, that really kind of identifies you as a type. And Nolan has a great range, yeah. a great range. But that's what he got known for for a while. So it, it depends. It's kind of a where you are, the time, circumstance, what people recognize you from. So let's just talk shop. Let's talk shop here. Let's world, do it. Yeah, let's talk world, shop. World, yeah, world, world of Warcraft movie. World of Warcraft movie. Yeah. I think everybody wow. out there is absolutely stoked about what's coming out. First off, my personal thought here at BlizzCon, uh -oh. the big announcement from Blizzard is uh -oh. going to be the reveal of what they showed at Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get much more. I don't think they're far enough in production to show us anything outside of that. We're going to see what they showed at Comic-Con. What do you guys want to see out of the World of Warcraft movie? We know it's going to kind of centralize around Arthas and his story, but what do you guys want out of it? Uh, I personally think I want to see Michelle Moro as Sylvanas. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of the internet wants to see that. That would be fantastic. Yes, those are my expectations. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. That's what I want. <laughs> yes, it's, it's what I want. You know, it's like Babe Ruth calling my shot or something. You know, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to announce my involvement uh, as Jana Proudmore in the film. <laughs> uh, I've been working out for a long time for that. I've got, His hair uh, is growing out. Yeah, I've got Laura Bailey's blessing. Again, proof. Um, I'm proof positive Jana Proudmore is a dreadlord. Guys, I told you at the beginning of this. <laughs> It's all coming together now. Oh, that would be amazing. It's all that coming would be together. So good. Revealed in that movie. The look That's on Thrall's yeah. face. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. It's been it's been seated long ago. He's That's like, what's gonna reveal. He's like, I'm so yeah, glad yeah. I didn't date you. Yeah. Think of Godfrey, Godfrey, Sargeras. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you know, I I mean, I hope that it. I mean, because there was an alliance shield, I believe, is what we saw before. I mean, I hope there is more involvement of the horde, and it doesn't just completely centralized around the Alliance. You know, it, it isn't um, as skewed, I guess. I don't know how else you would tell it other than just, you know, it's, it's going to have to be a group of adventurers, uh, you know, centralizing around them. Instead of looking at it from a lore perspective, I think it would be much more difficult a story to tell. I mean, Duncan Jones, already, he's come out and said that. It should be more of a, more of a party. Like, we're going questing as a group. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where the lore is so rich and there's so much in the world of <laughs> in the world of Warcraft. Uh -huh. uh, oh, I know, I know. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> that you can't possibly hope to keep the storyline consistently accurate in the film because you only have an hour and a half to tell such an epic tale. Yeah. They're going to have to take liberties. They're going to have to make things more succinct. They're going to have to condense and change relationships to make it work for that format because you are shooting for a mainstream audience. Right. Well, I, I guess that was going to be my ultimate question. Is I'm kind of curious to see how much they're going to stick to the fandom and really creating it for the fans and if they're going to try and Michael Bay it. What, well, but no. no. Yeah, that's, that's like the thin line that they, they're going to have to walk with the movie because most movies that are based off of some something bigger either are, we're going to make this just for the fans, in which case it makes no money and we'll never get anything else from it, or they're, we're going to make it for everyone, in which case it just is not. Or you just like hit they, that, they or, or you can hit that pocket. Down. If you can hit that pocket the way, I mean, I know it hates to be... Um, I, it hates to be compared to it, but if it can hit that pocket the like way that, it did yeah. with Lord of the Rings, yes. if yeah. it can do what Lord of the Rings did for World of Warcraft, I think it we'd all be, be really, Lord really happy, right? Yeah. I mean, that would be awesome. Yeah, a a yeah. Avengers, I think, is another good example Absolutely. of a film that shouldn't work based on, you know, it, it has such a long lineage of characters and story, and the mainstream audience isn't too familiar with it, but they still manage to find that middle line between... You know, something the fans can really relate to and enjoy, but people who aren't familiar with it can also jump right in and be like, oh, I totally get this, and I like it, you know? Yeah. I could actually, I'd be interested to see a Joss Whedon version of the World of Warcraft <laughs> <laughs> I think all of our dreams would come true. Although I'm excited for Duncan Jones. Yeah, he's, like, he's not doing anything nowadays, right? <laughs> no, Don't, he's Josh got time. Busy. No, Joss has nothing to do at all. <laughs> we, do, we do have to, to consider the fact that not only has Blizzard been holding this movie in very tight reins. For a long time. Very long time. Very like, long. I almost feel like they had the, the notion of this movie won't be released unless we approve of it. 
It's also stop they animation. Did. It's For, yeah. Nightmare Before Christmas <laughs> style. Well, it's whenever yeah. Blizzard well, announces anything. I still have my copy of Diablo 1, which has the insert, you know, coming soon in 1996, <laughs> Diablo 2. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. That worked out well. <laughs> I mean, I, I just think that, you know, other... My personal favorite video game movie that I think lives up to the potential of Super what Mario the video Brothers? game was. What was that? Super Mario Brothers. Don't, no. <laughs> Don't you bring that blasphemy How in here. How dare you. Tomb Raider 2. No. no. Is, I hate the story, but I think that Silent Hill lived up to, the, to what the game. Visually. How it visually yeah, 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 what yeah. the totally game was. Agree. You're right on that. So I think that. And strangely, but, the only movie that Sean Bean was in where he didn't die, but you expected him to. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. I, and I think that, here's the thing, is, is there, there are not a lot of video game adaptations of movies that directly work with the video game developer. Sure. A lot of them are sold off to, to the production companies that, that take their own royalties, their own desires, their own direction with it, and don't stay true. But because... The, the, the Warcraft movie has taken so long to just get into production, let alone actually work. We know they're working closely with all of the higher-ups at Blizzard. Dude, this I've got has been a going on since like 2006, yeah. okay? This is like when I first started talking about it. It was at a Fangoria convention of a horror movie I had done, and they had asked me like, you know, if you could be any character, past, present, or future, what would it be? And I was just like, um, Lady Sylvanas in the World of Warcraft movie. I mean, it was just like that. And that's how it started, and it's been that long since they've been talking about it. Blizzard has made it very clear that they want the story to be told right, that they want it to be told so that the fans will be happy, and they're not going to just let somebody write it and make it some stupid Michael Bay thing. That's what I'm hoping they. I don't think they can do that at this point. They can't. They can't. St I they wanted to be all explosions now just to piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> They're all explosions. There is a little part of me that's kind of hoping. You know what? That'd be actually really fun, though. <laughs> yeah. That would be great. Yeah. There's a little part of me that's kind of hoping it's going to come out, and it's just like a two-hour epic of Nomaragon. <laughs> oh, God. Like, like the Exodus from Mechanitorg, and everyone's like, oh, okay, sure. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, you're like, remember all oh, those explosions? Yeah. It was like, yes, I'm on board. Alarm box. <laughs> So remember all those races you complained that were never in the game that much? They get yeah. a movie. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> the Morgan movie. It's happening. Spin-offs. Yeah. They all glisten. They're all really attractive men. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Ladies, this one's for you. Right? So, yes. <laughs> what about, all right, let's, let's move off the topic of the Warcraft movie. Let's, let's look to BlizzCon. That's what we're all yeah, here for. That's BlizzCon. what everyone around here is, is for. BlizzCon 2013. Yeah. We have not heard from you guys. What's your? Did you get the part yet? It's too late now. It's too late. It's too late. It's gone. It's just too gone. It's, it's question, gone. Question's over. Question's over. <laughs> They're not even listening to me anymore. Come on! I mean, guys. How I mean, you doing, buddy? Just let me let me audition. You know. Sorry. <laughs> Auditioning for Savannah. Yeah. <laughs> so so, anyway, so at, at BlizzCon, um, where do you think the attention's gonna be? Jesse, I believe you said you felt like it was going to be the, the WoW expansion yeah. and, and Heroes of the Storm. Well, sure, yeah. Do you guys think that there will be anything beyond that that really propels, that people walk out of BlizzCon saying, holy crap, that's what BlizzCon was about? Well, they're all going to walk out being extremely addicted to Hearthstone. Oh, yeah. Yep. You know, that's for yep. sure, because I know that's taking up a lot of my evenings. Um, <laughs> so I, I think that's going to be a big deal. Uh, I think, I think that, you know, when they talk more about the WoW movie, it's going to make people very excited. Everyone's been clamoring to find out for a long time now. So I think the WoW movie is going to make a big deal about it. They're going to talk about it. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think you're right. I think Heroes of the Storm is going to be the main thing of the MOBA. And it'll be kind of nice because we're going to have more developed characters for that for you know these blizzard all-stars or whatever we've got more developed lore than say like league of legends sorry but i'm just saying the the characters are shots fired shots out. fired i'm just saying <laughs> that happened I am an a hour hunter. and a half ago <laughs> uh yeah i'm just saying the the characters are more developed and connected than say other mobas so i'm excited to see where it will go we need lost vikings need to be in there we talked about this earlier yeah. every yeah. single Black Thorn, every man. single New Blackthorn. I'll be all over that. We need we need all the racers. Oh, man. There's so many characters I want pulled in there. People are like, who is this? I'm like, that's you don't know. Good for you. You, you suck. <laughs> what, okay, what about that? Okay, uh, You guys brought up League of Legends. League of Legends has the ability to 
pulled champions out of thin air. Riot, Hears of the Storm, is very much Blizzard-related copyright. How far do you guys think that they have the ability to pull hero champion pools from before they start either just recycling the same stuff or running out of, of thematic characters to have talk about. Have you played about. any Blizzard games? I have. <laughs> there are a lot of characters. The lore is pretty insane. Yeah, I mean, there they could be like putting some I'm old gods to make up questions. in there and some titans. I mean, there's a lot they could do. I mean, they could make a titan edition old gods, all, all sorts of things. I mean, I, I wish they would- Old god. I want an old god. I want an old god. Yeah. Right? That is the most ridiculous hero. Game you know how breaking much money. How much money I would pay to be able to play in that game as either Deckard Kane or Wirt. <laughs> like, like, imagine that, like a whole team of orcs rushing in, like Wirt with this one leg kind of hobbling into the battlefield. Like, he needs amazing. to throw it like a boomerang and it comes back to him and he sticks it back on and keeps but hobbling. The, the but the works. ironic part is, it, is he's the most powerful. He's course, the oh, one that everybody be. plays. He's the one who can summon all the, all the cows. Anymore, <laughs> you know? be great. Oh, I, so I, think, I think I would want to play as Harrison Jones. Just saying. Wow. Yeah. I think he would be really badass. He yeah. summons boulders that roll after him. Oh, and my, God. Amazing. Awesome. oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have a whole Schnatz faction that gets introduced. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Gammon would be in there for sure. Oh. You know? I play as him. Why not? Yeah. Superpower, Dreadlord. Yeah. Everyone's a Dreadlord. Dreadlo That's spoiler. Spoilers. <laughs> in the end, everyone's a Dreadlord. You're not, you're not letting this go. I'm telling you, I'm going to keep love calling it. it. I love it. You literally are just like, you know what? Everyone's a Dreadlord, and I'm going to be right. One because day, one person is a Dreadlord, I'm right, and that's all that matters. One day it'll happen, and I will appear on the internet and be like, what? <laughs> I told you. I told it's you. Called you. It, no, called it's, it's, it's like the final, final Bob Newhart reveal of World of Warcraft. Every character has been a secret dreadlord, and they're like, oh, we're all on the same team. Cool. We win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about, what about, um, yeah. all right, so, so, so yeah. another thing, an, <laughs> transition, uh -huh. um, yeah. <laughs> this is hard. Uh, <laughs> Sound of a thousand fans what googling said. what Bob Newhart is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just H a lot of happy parents, though. They're like, I get that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Warcraft isn't just limited to age. I mean, there are, we're actually. Uh, some of you guys have may seen. There's a film crew over in, in the corner. Uh, we are co-producing with Nerdist Industries. We're doing a documentary on World of Warcraft called Road to Azeroth. Um, it's about a woman uh, named Terry. She has terminal cancer. She's uh, 62. Sorry, Terry, if I'm wrong on your age. Um, they're here, her and her sister. They've come here, and we're filming them being able to experience BlizzCon for the first time. Now, they may not play the same way as we do, where we raid or PvP, but they play because they have a good time, and they play because they have a lot of friends, and it's a way for her to have a therapeutic connection to make her feel better. I mean, I know I personally went through that when I had my, my injuries. I, you know, when I hurt my neck, I had my rib removed. I went through quite a bit with my injuries. And Warcraft was definitely there in a social way for me. It was something for my boyfriend and I to do together because we couldn't really go out when I'm on a neck brace. I know it's really sexy and everything, but you know. <laughs> eh. It's yeah. true. It's, it's pure. Yeah, it was sexy. It's, it's, it's what interesting you say about the age thing. One of my fondest memories of, of early day in Vanilla World of Warcraft was realizing one of the members of my guild was an elementary school teacher in my city. And so we went and got lunch together. And just sitting down at like, you know, outside of a Togo's somewhere, having a conversation with a woman who is, looks like every elementary school teacher, you know, nice glasses, maybe like in her late 40s, long dress with a big necklace and everything, chatting about raid techniques and like, you know, how, how OP rogues are in PvP. I was like, this is, this is, this is the ultimate equalizer. Exactly. Like, for social age groups. It, it really amazing. is. It's so true. I mean, and they're over here in the corner having so much fun. Please, everyone, go say hi and be on the camera for everybody. You know, you can say for the Horde, for the Alliance, for the Horde. Um, what are they <laughs> yeah. Make sure you say it. Am I? Am I the only? I, I got. I gotta ask. Yes, that's the answer. Am I the only alliance on this table right now? Uh, yeah. Wow. I, I played yeah. alliance for eight years recently. One before, converted. dude. Oh yeah, you did. So I'm the only. I'm the only one just, remaining after all these well, years. Well, no, he server transferred or he he faction transferred because he was alliance. He started out and he didn't play for a long time and. We, uh, we all just did a web series together called Pen and Paper and Laser Guns. Um, and that's how we all met and got to know each other. We started talking and I found out that Matt was like the first rogue to level 60 on a server back in Vanilla and opened the gates of AQ. And I was like, oh, excuse me. 
What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he, you know, was having trouble getting Marisha to play in the years. Just, you know, whatever. So, I don't know if you want to... Yeah, I was trying not to lose my life to World of Warcraft. I was trying really hard. <laughs> and... I tried really hard. What was so funny, because, like, we talked about it, and you're like, yeah, I couldn't play the game. I just, I don't have time, and it would suck me in. I'm like, no, I totally get it. I have, like, my three-year chip, you know, on my keychain. <laughs> and I was totally fine. Then she goes over and talks to Michelle one night and comes back home and is like, so I'm thinking maybe we could install the game. And I'm like, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Cut two, we're both 90 ratings each together, yeah. you know, yeah. waiting on LFR in the Timeless Isle, just <laughs> now I it. Now I have a new tank and healer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Wow>. So self-serving. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was, like, instant, too. Like, I, I started playing, we started marathoning, and then, like, Matt was like, oh, and check this out. You can, like, pull up these stats, and you can see, like, how much time you spent, and here's how many days you've played. And I was like, ah, oh. ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, that was fine. But then, but then it immediately make you feel better. I logged into my main from the old school days and showed her that. And it's like, you've been playing for, you know, two years. 185 <laughs> days. And oh. I'm like, yeah, see? That's half a year of not sleeping. That's a lot. 185 is definitely a lot, Matt. That's Shut like, up. <laughs> I don't know what mine is. <laughs> I refuse to know the number. Yeah. I instantly that. started having the World of Warcraft dreams, though. <laughs> Um, so I play as a uh, Tauren elemental shaman. shaman. So, woo, Ooh. yeah. And um, so I'm I'm a big fan of like my my fire or my lava burst spells. And um, I started having dreams of me like going through my fuck. <laughs> Sorry. I hope that was it. She spilled a drink. Uh, Go uh, Marisha Go Ray, everyone. Marisha Ray. Sorry, was, no, no, that that's the, the name about? that my lava burst spell makes. That's that's the sound that it makes. Uh. I was, I was, I was trying to um, <laughs> to paint a visual picture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, so much damage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my so My favorite so right. story, though, is when uh, Matt got Marisha to do a five-man for the first time. Yeah. 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 And I was healing. <laughs> yeah, yes. I was healing. She's, she's never healed. Go on. I, never, I never healed before. I was, like, switching over my healing spec for the first time. And he's like... Okay, so he jump he jumps me in. He's like, are you ready? And I was like, well, I don't... I Like, what's, what's about to happen? And he's like... All right, so the tank is probably going to be a death knight, and he's probably played through this like eight times, and he's just trying to get to level 90, so he's just going to be plowing through this, so you want to make sure you keep Earth Shield up on him at all times, and then, you know, just trying not... And I was like, what is going <laughs> on? And I was like, I don't... N n what? He was like, all right, you ready? Let's go! Let's go! They're running! They're pulling now! And I was like, ah! Ah! I had no idea what was going on. But you know what? No one died. No one died. No one died. That's all that matters. I, I didn't, That's I, all that matters. I didn't let anybody die on my first time healing. It was pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was pretty all right, guys. Well, we got some more giveaways to give for you guys out there, um, which we'll get to in, right, uh, in just a wow, second. The crowd's gone close. Everybody's everybody's just crowding. <laughs> GC, what's up? Buddy? I see some, I see some ghost crawler right over there. You got Ow! free stuff. Ow! <laughs> Free stuff! Alright, let's give away some free stuff. Here we go. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys. Yeah.